Power on. <laughs> Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars. When man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dredd's rule. Their name... Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Captain's Log 4712 Mark 16. The enemy has dealt us a crushing blow. Power base destroyed. Jennifer is gone. She saved a copy of Mentor and the basic work of my father, paying a high price for it. And now, there's no more place in my heart for sorrow. There's only room for revenge. Sold us out, Locke. How much did you value Jane's life? I swore to protect lives. Swore an oath on his father's grave. Now Jane is in that grave. She was so young and not afraid of death. Welcome. I'm very sorry. Not, not a minute goes by that I don't think about it. Is there one change I think? I will change. Change! Speak. On the East Coast, there is a hidden dread base. Yes, Captain. These are the coordinates. Once again.
Once we could have trusted you, but you destroyed everything. Captain, but I don't see any dread objects or signs of industry. There is nothing on the surface of the Earth. Getting into the right board. We're losing altitude. Everyone get ready for an emergency landing. Take care of it.
fuck the car. Didn't your mother teach you to buckle up? I think your mother forgot to tell mine. He's fine. I'm Captain Power, and this is my squad. I've heard a lot about you, Captain. This is the first time I've seen you. Who are you? I'm Stingray Johnson, and I have a personal score to settle with Dread. We all have our own personal accounts. And since we're on the same side, tell us what you know about this damn underwater base. The base is hidden underwater at a depth of over 500 meters. 
It's protected by two rocket launchers on a telescopic platform. That platform is the only entrance. Within the hour, a transporter with a load will arrive and the platform will rise to the surface. Now I'll only have enough time to disable one of those launchers. The door and the other launcher is up to you. Your plan is as simple as three Copex. The simpler, the better. Captain, I dug into your father's archives. Based on his early designs, I've made some interesting additions to yours and Tank's outfits. Consider these a gift from your dad. On. Upgrade. Staying, make our ship fly. Showtime. Everything quickly and quietly. It remains to be done quickly. control panel. Activated. 
the Dread planned everything. Let's not disappoint him. still think there is no serious danger? Scout, any ideas? How about a small power EMP? What about our suits? I don't know. Maybe they'll save a small percent of energy. Do it! Come on, we haven't finished our talk. It's me, John. Remember? Just friends. I'm Captain Power. 
primary objective. Kill Captain Power. I told you to leave, but you never listened to my orders. Jennifer... Pilot... Done to yourself, madman. It is not madness. It's evolution. You are a monster who creates monsters. Is not a monster, but a new face of the human race. My gift to this world. The world you destroyed. You cannot build a new world on the foundation of the old one. You used her! You used everyone! You have finally seen the light, boy. Now, you understand the true purpose is Biodread. Each of my warriors has a bit of a digitized human in them. A machine with human emotions. Anger and a sense of preservation. Machines that think like people. My perfect creations. You have no place in my world, Captain. Yes, I've seen the light. You forgot that every machine has a light switch. One day, I'll turn you off too. seriously hurt you. Uh, it's just a bruise. Uh, we have to go. Jennifer's memories. You are not Jane, and you are not a pilot. You are just the shadow of the woman he loved. Did you kill me? No, it was your choice. I only kept what was left of you. Kept it for what? Your essence is to kill. Come back and finish with power. I don't belong to you. <laughs> oh no, you do. Every part of your body is mine. Jennifer's soul will never be yours. If you remove the nerve, Jane is dead. You are Sylvana.
Fly away from here. I will open a gate under the surface of the water and flood the base. You have about three minutes left. I hope you'll come back to me in one minute. Where's John?
You have to let it go, John. That's exactly what she would have said. Thank <laughs> you. 